Hey guys, my name is George and recently I tried Arms Warrior and realized that there is a new proc called Taste for Blood. And I'm going to show you in this video how to make Vikora for it. It's going to have sound and glowing effect. So if that's something you might be interested in, keep watching. Let me first show you how it looks like. So I'm just going to slap rent onto the target and soon the proc should follow. As you can hear and see, uh, if I use overpower, uh, after a couple of seconds, it should proc again, hopefully. Yeah, it proc'd again. So this is how it looks like. You can keep watching if you want to know how to make it yourself, or you can just click the link down below and there should be a link with the Vikora itself. To make the Vikora, let's just open the add-on. We're going to create new aura. We're going to choose icon. I'm going to name it OP YouTube in the display settings. Uh, I'm just going to show fallback icon and in the choose option, we're going to type overpower and choose the icon for overpower. There's three ways how to proc overpower. First one is with your white swing. If you dodge with your white swing, it's going to proc overpower. Second one is swing with your yellow spell and dodge, which is pretty similar. And the third one is with the proc from the talent tree. Let's take care of the white swing dodge first. We're gonna change the aura to combat log. Instead of spell, you're gonna choose swing. In the message suffix, you're gonna choose mist. Don't forget to switch on source unit and choose player because otherwise it would be tracking all the players around you if they dodged and that's not what we want. And don't forget down below the mist type and choose the mist type dodge and as well the height should be 5 seconds because you have 5 seconds to proc your overpower. And this should be enough for the first trigger. So let's create a second one. And this one's going to be very similar but only for spell dodge. So similarly as before, instead of aura it's going to be combat lock. Instead of swing it's going to be spell. In the message suffix you just chose mist as well as before source unit player and down below mist type to dodge and timed 5 seconds. The third trigger is going to be aura because it's from the talent proc. Uh, so we're going to choose type aura, unit type player, aura type buff and we're going to choose name for the spell because I tried ID and it wasn't working so let's just type in taste for blood and this should be enough for the triggers. In the condition, we're going to add condition and in the if statement, we're going to choose any of and we're going to choose each and one of the triggers if it's active. So if the trigger one is active and it's true, trigger two is active and it's true, trigger three is active, true. Then we're going to choose glow, visibility and choose the check mark and as well, you can add sound. I'm just going to choose sound and we're going to pick play and pick some sound. I'm just going to, I think I like the punch sound and sound channel is going to be master. Also, don't forget to change in triggers uh, from all triggers to any trigger and dynamic information from first active trigger. The Vikora would work like this, but there's some edge cases which uh, kind of make problems. Uh, I'm going to show you quickly. As you can see, I dodged, so I'm just going to use overpower. And it's still showing that I can use overpower even when I can't. That's because we set the five second timer in the height option in the trigger one and trigger two. Let me just quickly show you. Uh, in the trigger one, you can see that there's a height option five seconds as well as in the trigger two, it's the same. To get rid of this edge case, uh, we're going to have to add two more triggers, which is pretty annoying, but I didn't find easier way and a little bit of code, but don't worry, it's not much. Let's add the triggers, shall we? Add trigger. Instead of aura, it's going to be player info. Instead of health, it's going to be stance form aura. And we're going to choose form battle stance. So that's the trigger one. And the last trigger that we're going to add is going to be type of spell. 
uh, I'm just going to type in overpower and in show, we're going to choose always. Now uh, we sadly need to change from any trigger to custom code because we don't want to trigger from the last two triggers. So choose custom function to add the code. Just click expand. I'm just going to paste in because I already did it before. If you don't want to type it in, there's going to be the code in the description below. Uh, this basically does uh, as we had before, but only for the three triggers. So it's going to choose from any of the triggers. If any of these is active, it's going to trigger and it's not going to take into account the fourth and fifth trigger. So let's click done. And in conditions, we're going to have to add two more conditions. So add condition and this one's going to be all off. So both the conditions have to be true to be active. And first one is going to be from trigger four. If the trigger four is active, which means we are in battle stance. And the second trigger is going to be from trigger five. If the spell is usable is equal pulse. We are going to say change the alpha to zero. Now, when we try to dodge with our staff, let me just quickly broke the dodge. There we go. I'm going to press overpower. And as you can see, I cannot use it. It wasn't showing. So each time we cannot use the overpower, it's not going to show you. And we are still able to see the icon when we are not in the battle stance. And after you position the Vikara to your desired location, we're done. Uh, we can proc it from the rent proc or from the dodge swing or yellow swing. It's going to be glowing and making sound. And yeah, if you made it this far, you might be interested in more videos from me. I made Vikura here and Vikura up there. So you can click those. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.